One of the many considerations when weighing whether or not to have implants placed, the type of overdenture may be as important a decision as any. All overdentures follow the same basic idea. A denture is attached over dental implants that have been fixed to your jawbone. However, there are some subtle differences that will affect performance of your denture and directly relate to your quality of life. Before we get started with the differences in denture type, there is an important point that should be made. A lot of the vocabulary used to refer to overdentures is used interchangeably. In particular, the phrase snap-on or snap-in dentures is used to describe locator overdentures, ball retained dentures, mini implant dentures, and bar retained dentures. Technically, all these denture types do snap on. They are all made of acrylic and are removable by the patient. These may also be referred to as implant supported dentures as a denture is attached to a mechanism that supports the implants as opposed to being attached directly to the implant. Locator overdentures and ball retained overdentures are largely the same. In both cases, a metal male stud is attached to your implant and the acrylic denture is retrofitted with a female receiving area. The difference is the shape of the stud. In the case of both restorations, the receiving area is molded and cast directly into the acrylic. The receiving area is a metal housing unit with a rubber interior. When the acrylic is pressed to form the denture, it surrounds the housing unit, hardening and holding it in place. Bar retained overdentures, or acrylic to bar overdentures, are not entirely different from locator or ball retained dentures, but as opposed to having your dentures snap directly onto the stud attached to the implants, the acrylic denture will instead snap on to a metal bar. In this case, a metal bar is used as an intermediary as to help alleviate the force of chewing and more evenly spread the bite force to all of your implants. This helps to ensure the life of your implants and helps avoid any failures. Mini implant dentures are exactly as they sound, miniature implants. Your dentist may use mini implants if they are concerned about the strength of your jawbone. If there are concerns that a full-size implant may be too large for your bone ridge to support, then mini implants may be the only option. Typically, they use the ball retain method. In each case, your denture is removable, but will be held in a much more sturdy fashion compared to traditional removable dentures. Another type of overdenture is a screw retained overdenture. More commonly referred to as a hybrid denture or fixed removable denture, this denture is screwed directly into your implants. The denture is removable by the dentist, but not removable by the patient. Thus, it is a hybrid fixed removable solution. The major drawback for locator, bar retained, ball retained, and hybrid overdentures is the denture itself. An acrylic denture will wear down over time. Stresses are placed on the acrylic based on how you chew, and as you might imagine, a plastic denture held in place with metal structures or screws will be subject to breaking. A plastic denture simply cannot withstand the bite force when being used with a normal diet for an extended period of time. To combat this issue, a new denture type is becoming increasingly popular. The all on four Foles Arconia Arch. This denture restoration is a fixed removable solution and is screw retained. The all on four or all on X Zirconia Arch is computer designed and milled from a solid zirconium oxide puck. It is the longest lasting restoration and is the closest you will come to your natural teeth. The major proponent of the all on four solution is that it will allow you to eat a full diet without restrictions or worries. For anyone who has had a partial or full dentures, it is genuinely a life-changing operation. The elephant in the room, however, is that the cost is prohibitive to many. An all-on-4 or all-on-X, if more than four implants is required, is the latest in dental technology and routinely costs upwards of $40,000. The decision as to whether or not to have dentures placed is a difficult one. There is no doubt that the procedure will improve your quality of life, but the financial implications are simply irreconcilable for many. In any case, the patient must remain aware that gum disease is still a concern. Poor oral hygiene may result in the buildup of plaque around your implants, deteriorating your gums, and causing your implants to fail and need to be removed. 
Your dentist will provide you with instructions for daily maintenance, but as always, please continue to see your dentist twice a year.